Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Ingenious Fit EWS 357 Wi-Fi 6 access point. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So there's a QR code for the quick start guide in the mobile app. And here's the access point. Below that, we have some compliance documentation. And in here, we'll have brackets for mounting this to T-Track or to a ceiling. So this can clip onto T-Track or you can put screws through it to mount it to a ceiling. And there's two in there for two different sizes. So this is plastic with indicator lights here. If we turn it over, it's aluminum on the back. Under this piece of tape is the QR code for registering it. And here we have a reset button. We have PoE and 12 volts in. So the typical way to power this would be through ethernet using a PoE switch or injector. So you can mount this wherever you can run an ethernet cable. It makes it much easier since you don't have to run separate power. You can also run it off 12 volt if you don't have a PoE switch, but I'm guessing most people would use PoE with this. This also has Q-hole slots directly on here so you could just mount it on a wall. So this is two by two, multi-user, multiple input multiple output you can manage with the ingenious fit cloud or you can use the ingenious fit controller which allows for on-site management so let me get my system set up here and we'll test it out okay so i have my equipment here for testing and all three of these were provided to me by the distributor so i'm going to start by hooking this all up i'll plug poe from the controller to the switch and then i will plug from the switch into the access point so now I'll plug this into power I'm going to connect this up to my computer, so I'll plug that in here. And now I'll head over to my computer and get this configured. I'm going to log into my FIT controller, which I set up previously. Okay, so now we're in the interface, and this looks very familiar to the Ingenious Cloud software, but this is hosted on the controller. So now I want to add this access point. So I'll go down to the building in the bottom left, and I'll go to inventory. Now I'll go to register device. I'll go to manually. I'll enter in the serial number from the access point. I'll hit register. I'll say done. I'll check that. I'll say assign to network and I'll hit apply. So now we have two devices on our network. I'll go up to the monitor on the left here and I'll go to dashboard. And here we see we have a switch and an access point. So these are currently provisioning. So I'll come back in a few minutes and we should see these online. Okay, so I have the access point provisioned and I also have the switch provisioned. So if I go over here to the left, I can go to access points and I can see the access point here. I can click on details. And here we have the details on the access point. It shows the SSID here, has throughput information, radio, mesh, IP addressing. We can also go to logs and clients. So to configure this, we'll go to configure, which is the gear here. We can go to SSID. You can add an SSID. I have one created, so it's called Fit Wi Fi. I'll tap on that. So here we have the name. We can specify 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios, so I have both on. I've given it a password. You can see there's many different types of encryption here. I'll scroll down through this, it has enable application analysis. So this will give you an idea how people are using your Wi-Fi. If we click on advanced settings, we have L2 isolation. So that's layer two isolation. So that's, so the Wi-Fi clients cannot talk to each other. And then we have band steering. So you can steer people towards five gigahertz networks. And we have bandwidth limit, captive portal. So you see this on a lot of public Wi-Fi's. It's very common at hospitals, hotels, shopping centers, etc. We have splash page. We have schedule, so you can turn this on or off at different times. So if you have a business and you want to turn your Wi-Fi off in the middle of the night, you can do that here. And here we have access control. You can block IP addresses or have VIPs based on MAC address. Now, many devices now are randomizing the MAC address, so it's getting harder and harder to use these for that. But you could still do that for a VIP list. You could have someone turn off their private MAC address. So I'll go back to configure. We'll go to radio settings. And here we have the radio for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios. So this has indoor and outdoor. I currently have an indoor access point connected. You can change things like channel, channel width. So I have the 2.4 gigahertz set to 20. I have the 5 gigahertz set to 80. So that can give you more speed, but it can also give you more interference. We have transmit power, minimum bit rate, client limit. So then we have other settings here, and you can set these for indoor and outdoor. So I'm currently connected to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to pull up a speed test on my network. So this speed test is hosted on a server on my network. The Wi-Fi access point has a connection to it using gigabit ethernet. So I'll do this test here. And I should say I'm on a 2015, early 2015 MacBook Pro. So it's an older computer. So here we got 578 megabits per second down and 487 megabits per second up. Now I do have a lot of equipment here, lots of other interference. 
So some people might get faster than this, some might get slower, but this gives you a rough idea of the performance you can expect out of this. So that's the ingenious EWS 357 fit Wi-Fi access point. So I demonstrated this using the Fit controller, which you would host on your site. You could also set this up on Fit Cloud. Now, if you're using Fit Cloud, if you have multiple locations, you can manage those from one location. That makes it super convenient. If you want to have your controller on site for security or compliance reasons, you can go with something like the Fit controller. But I found this very easy to set up and manage. This is a great option for small office, home office, small businesses, bed and breakfast. There are many different places that would benefit from a system like the Ingenious Fit. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.